Once again, folks, it is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and I am on my YouTube homepage, which you guys have seen in many of my videos. And I wanted you to take a look up here. Now, I had talked about these three buttons, which are the minimize, the resize, and the close button. That is in its separate video. Um, but in this video, we're going to talk about computer terms you may not know. This is part three. And the first one we're going to talk about is this actual resize. Now, as you can see, there's two squares right here. Now, when there's two squares right here, the web browser page, which I told you in a previous video what the web browser page was, is full size, like this. But what if you want to shrink it down a little bit so you can work with um, this here and maybe another window over here and so on and so forth? Well, how do you do that? Well, first of all, you have to click here until the two squares, see the two squares here? You have to click until the two squares become one square. And then what you can do, now notice how your cursor, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer. See how it's an arrow right now? Well soon it's going to become a double arrow with a line. That means you can pull this up and push it down. And let me uh, do a little adjusting here. Now watch over here. See how this thing has, again, two arrows and a line? Okay, you can just kind of pull that in, pull out, just like that. Now then, YouTube, Google, a lot of websites try to guess what you're going to type in next. Now, you remember I talked about keywords in a separate video? Okay, let's say you start typing in keywords. So you type in the and let's say you type in T-E-R-M and as you can see they're going to have the term that's, that's used in Google automatically fills in keywords, the terminator, the terminator, uh, the terminal, the, the term simple carbohydrate refers to. It's trying to guess what you're going to type next. And this is called an autofill feature. And this autofill feature is on Google, on Yahoo, on YouTube, on Facebook. There are a lot of places that will actually try to guess what you're going to type next. Even most of your word processors will try to guess what you're going to type next. Alright, let's get out of this. Now, a lot of people have heard of Microsoft Word, but what they do not realize is that Microsoft itself, the Windows operating system, automatically comes with a word processing program that is not associated with Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is like 300 bucks, okay? Uh, at least the good version is. And so if you don't want to pay 300 bucks, well, you have something in here called Notepad. This is a word processing program just as much as Microsoft Word. Which is, here's the icon for Microsoft Word and here's Notepad here. Uh, the only difference is that Microsoft Word has more features than uh, Notepad. But you can open up Notepad, uh, double click it, or I think, it, it, I think it'll work with single click, but if it doesn't work with single click, double click and it opens up. It doesn't have a lot of features, but you can actually type things on this. Remember I talked about in a previous video about highlighting text. You can actually highlight the text and transfer it to something else. So on and so forth. But you do have that program in there. Okay. Now, another thing that people do not know, I just talked about shutting down a computer. If you hover your mouse, over this ball right here, the word start comes up. Okay, it's a cute little feature. Sometimes if you hover your little ball over, if you hover your cursor, if you hover your cursor over certain things like this, uh, little words will come up. These are little uh, hints type thing. Uh, there's an official term. I don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up. But there's an official term for when the, uh, it, it's kind of a little helper screen that tells you what that actually is. So if you hover your mouse over that ball, the word start pops up. Ta-da! Well, I think that's pretty much it. For, now, oh, there is one other thing. There is one other thing. Okay, 
you see this computer screen right down here see that one right there that it indicates that you're connected to the internet now if you see that disappear and you see a bunch of bars okay uh, uh, these would be uh, vertical bars if you see a whole bunch of vertical bars that means you're not connected to the internet or this thing will have a like a red slash through it that means you're not connected to the internet only if you see this, the screen like this are you connected? now this is in Windows 7 now in Windows Vista you have two computers and then you have a little uh, uh, globe between the two computers If that globe's not there you're not connected to the net it's that simple Okay, and that's all I'm going to tell you in this particular video. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.